Ali Bruzun Tulia Badi did it, did it, Araba did it, did it, Yabazi, the cricket did it, ya, a ramachin till Yabazi did it, did it, a rebezun cutulia bazi de cracata, a enter to holy of holy. I enter to worship, I am. I enter to honor you only. I enter to worship the Lamb. Oh, I enter the holies of holies. I enter to honor I am. I enter to worship you only. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. Lord, I will. You. I worship you, for your name is holy, your name is holy, Lord, oh, your name is holy, for your name is holy, your name is holy, Lord. In Amazuka Telia Bazi de Bragada, for your name is Oli, Oli, Lord. O Zamana Brazi de Brocotolia, for your name is Oli, your name is Oli, your name is Oli, my Lord. Ezama de brazi de broko toli abada. E yama le brozon toli abazada. E yam brazi de kese de brozon toli abaza. E raba de 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 yama zende riaba zende de brozon toli Yes, we worship the I am. We honor the I am that I am. King of kings, Lord of lords, mighty God, miracle worker. God, now over nations, we bow before your throne. We lift your name on high. We say be exalted forever. E Rabali Gedia. We bow before you. E Zamragate de Dedia. E Rabasin de Dede. O Rambali Gregis and Telia Bazadadam. O Ramazi de Rebrozontolia. We bless your holy name. Ah, Ya Brazi de Brazi Telia Baragada. We give you all the glory. E Ramazo Tolia Badada. O Ramazi Telia Bababa. Ah, the governor of our nation, king of Israel, beginning and the ending. Miracle worker. We bless your name. We honor your name. We worship your majesty. Ah, Rebazi de Brocotolia Badada. E Rebege de Diabazi de Krakata. Our hallelujah belong to you. Yes, we proclaim hallelujah over Nigeria. Our hallelujah belong to you. In a my true, my hallelujah belong to you. Yes, it belongs to you. My hallelujah belong to you. You deserve it. You deserve it, Calibro Santelia Bazidi Bragada. You deserve it, Mazina Yeba Dicate Yabasata Bragada. You deserve it. My hallelujah belong to you, Sabili Brazidi Bragadi de Diabazi de Bragada. My hallelujah belong to you. Hey, Amazi de Brazan de Bragadia. My hallelujah belong to you. Is a mela bragados and de bragade. My hallelujah belong to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. My hallelujah belong to you. A hey, governor of a nation, man of all, my hallelujah belong to you. We bow down and worship Yahweh, Elion Elohim, most high God, most love God. We bow down 
and worship Yahweh. Yes, we declare you are Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh. Yahweh. We call you Yahweh. Maruza da braze de braz, shone brazin tele brazin tele abadaba. Yahweh, Yahweh, yes you are Yahweh. O Ramazu taking tele brusu tuli abadada, O Ribuzun tuli abada, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Jehovah, man of war. Man of war, your mercy is enduring forever and ever. Oh, we praise your holy name. Oh, you are the God of, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jehovah, man of war. your mercy is enduring forever. And ever, oh, we praise your holy name. Yes, we praise. Yes, we praise your holy name. The God that answers by fire, let him be my God. The Lord that answers by fire, let him be my God. The one that answers by fire and thunder, let him be my God. The one that answers by fire, let him be my God. 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 Father, we give you praise. We are so grateful. Take all the honor, take all the adoration, take all the praises, O Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Welcome to day 17 of our prayer and fasting for Nigeria. Thank you so much for joining the Midday World. The Lord reward you as you join us. The Lord give you the rewards of the nations, not just Nigeria. The gates of nations will attend to you speedily in Jesus' name. Let's begin to give thanks to him. Let's honor him. Let's adore him because he's worthy. The Bible says in Psalm 100 verse 4, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful to him. Bless his name. Let's give him praise because he's the one who has sustained Nigeria. Let's magnify him. Let's worship him. Lord, we honor you. We lift your name above all else. We come before your throne with a heart of gratitude. Despite all that is happening in Nigeria, we choose the heart of gratitude. We cover this altar of prayer with the blood of Jesus. We ask that you rule and reign over all nations, especially our nation, Nigeria. We ask for a deluge of angels to surround us as we pray. We raise the standard with the precious blood of Jesus against every retaliation arrow. We come against every interference and distraction. Lord, let no flesh glory in your presence. Let only your name be, be praised forever and ever. Let your name be praised forever and ever. We exalt your name over Nigeria. We say, Lord, rule and reign. Yes, Lord, be exalted. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we magnify. Lord, we celebrate your goodness and your mercy. Be thou glorified forever in Jesus name. Our prayer number two, Father, we thank you for the privilege to approach your throne of grace, to obtain mercy and find grace to help you for Nigeria. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to come boldly to intercede for our beloved nation, Nigeria, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Proverbs 21 verse 31, he said the horse is prepared for the day of battle, but the deliverance is of the Lord. Father, we thank you because deliverance is from you. Our solution is from you. Help is from you. But Lord, we come boldly. We come boldly. We come boldly. We count it an awesome privilege to mount on this wall, to sit on this wall, to come on this wall to pray. We count it an awesome privilege to mount God on this gate, oh Lord, Father, at this watch tower to pray. We thank you for the privilege to, 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 to approach the throne of grace, to obtain 
mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Father, accept our thanksgiving and adoration. Oh Lord, we bless your name. We thank you. We bless your name. We worship you. Thank you, God, for Nigeria. Thank you, God, for Nigeria. Thank you, God, for Nigeria. Thank the Lord for Nigeria. Thank the Lord that we are not at war. Some 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 nations have not gone through half of what Nigeria is going through, and war will break out. Thank him that we are not we have not suffered any plane crash recently, which used to be the order of the day 10 years ago. Lord, we thank you, Lord, because you have preserved us from all the dangers and the wickedness. Father, we exalt your name. I remember in the year 2013. I remember, you know, the dinner plane crash. I remember so many things that happened about 10 years ago there were so many calamities going on in nigeria local flight you know was something that was nothing to write home about but a lot has improved so let's give god praise that things have worked out things have improved in nigeria let's thank him for that the recent calamities in the different region has been contained by his angels that not spread. Let's give him praise. Let's exalt him. Father, we thank you. We exalt your name because, Lord, the killing of one or two people, the killing, oh Lord, Father, of the others have not become a mass, a massacre. We exalt your name because we remember, you know, a, 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 a couple of years ago that they went to go and kill a whole church. We give you praise. During COVID, there were a lot of killings, you know, whole churches, bombs down. We thank you because that is not the case. You have sent your angels just to preserve and to fight for us. We give you praise. We still look for things to give you praise about. Thank God that calamity and ter terror has not swallowed up our nation. Let's thank him for preserving our nation from bloody coup d'etat and civil war. Father, we exalt your name. Despite the deplorable state, our nation is not at war. We exalt your name. Despite the siege laid against our nation, you have del delivered Nigeria. Thank God that war has not ravaged Nigeria. We exalt your name. We still look for something to give you praise for. We bless Bless your name. We worship you. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, give thanks that the name of the Lord is still in Nigeria and continually serves as a covering. Do you know that Nigerians can still call on Jesus Christ? Do you know that there's still opportunity for us to pray the gospel? Let's give him praise. Our Father, we exalt your name. Thank God for Christ in Nigeria and the freedom to preach the gospel, especially in the southern region, in the east and in the west. Father, we give you praise for the freedom to preach the gospel. I praise him for the opportunity to intercede today. Thank God that there is rain to water the plant for food in Nigeria. Thank God that God is not the government. Father, we exalt your name. We thank you, Lord Father, that despite the hardship, the financial, Lord Father, crunch, you have not withheld rain from us. So God, we exalt your name. Thank him for life, for health, for shelter and the peace we enjoy. Give him thanks for the angels on assignment. Adore him for the only waters and the quickening of watchmen in the land. Father, we exalt your name. We give you praise. We thank you, Lord Father, for your name that is still exalted over Nigeria. We thank you, Lord Father, for the privilege to still share the gospel in Nigeria in different places. I remember seeing Daniel Kolenda's uh, um, um, <clears throat> team setting up in Abia State, you know, in Abad, they're setting up for their crusade. That was the successor of um, evangelist uh, Reynard Bonke. You know, I see a lot of crusade going on in Ibadan. I see things going on in Lagos. I see things going on in the outskirts. I see God moving. That is still a privilege because we can still preach the gospel. Father, we thank you. We exalt your name because you are raising watchmen. Thank you, Father, for quitting in the land, for revival in the land. We give you praise. The money on, despite the inflation, despite all of the dollar rates, despite the expensive food, despite all of the high cost of living, despite all of that.
Everything that has become expensive, oh Lord Father, you have still given us mercy. You have still shown us peace. Uh, we adore you for the holy waters and the quickening of the watchmen in the land. Father, we give you praise. Thank you for raising watchmen throughout the nations for Nigeria. Thank him that he has raised watchmen. You and I are watchmen watching at the gate. Thank you for holy remnant making intercession day and night for his will to be done. Thank God for intercession us praying tirelessly for Nigeria. Let's thank the Lord for a holy remnant, still calling on his name in the land. Thank you for a new beginning and his unfolding, his unfolding plan for a new Nigeria. Father, we exalt your name, O Lord Father, because you're unfolding a new plan. You are raising a new breed of leadership for Nigeria. There's a holy remnant, O Lord Father, a revival brewing. O Father, we thank you for raising watchmen throughout the nations. Thank you for counting us worthy to be among this remnant praying for Nigeria. Thank you for the holy remnants making intercession day and night for his will to be done. Thank God for intercessors praying tirelessly for Nigeria. Let's thank the Lord for a holy remnant still calling on his name in the land, in Nigeria. Whether we know it or not, whether we, we understand it or not, whether we acknowledge it or not, or we know them, God is still, uh, God still has some people that are praying for Nigeria. I know it without a doubt. If he can raise those of us in the diaspora to pray, I know there are people locally who are praying and we declare they will not be tired, they will not be discouraged, they will not be frustrated Lord, we thank you for a new beginning that's unfolding for Nigeria. Oh Lord, we give you praise for a new Nigeria that is unfolding. Lord, we repent as individuals. We repent as a people for the mindless bloodshed through witchcraft, altars, abortion, clinic, fraternities, ritual killing, violence, and perversion in our street. We repent. We ask for mercy. We plead for mercy for the systemic corruption deeply rooted in the government and all the people. We repent. We come to you. We plead the blood of Jesus. You said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways. You said you will hear us from heaven. You will forgive our sins and you will heal our land. Lord, we ask that you will heal our land of this bloodshed the mindless bloodshed. We plead the blood of Jesus. We pray for mercy. We plead the blood of Jesus for mercy. Lord, only you can intervene. Only you can show up for Nigeria. We ask that you will show up. We plead the blood of Jesus. Oh, Lord Father, help us to repair. Oh, Lord Father, the foundations that have been destroyed through systemic corruption. Oh, Lord Father, deeply rooted in the system, in the government. Oh, Father, we pray. At the Ministry of Power is holding the power holding uh, uh, company for for their bill, for their power bill. Asura Villa is holding, owing, owing them for the bill, not because the money has not been released, not because the money has not been disposed, but it's possible that the money has been released and they've got to use it for a party, a destination party somewhere. Our Father, we ask for your mercy. We plead for mercy for the systemic corruption deeply rooted, ingrained in the system and all the people. The way of doing business is corrupt. Our Father, we ask for mercy. You say righteousness exalts a nation sin is a reproach. Uh, which way forward, Lord? Only you know. Show us. Have mercy. Oh, Father, just like Ezekiel cried to you, just like Jeremiah cried to you, just like Isaiah cried to you, just like uh, oh, Nehemiah cried to you, just like Ezra cried to you, just like Esther and Mordecai cried to you, we come fasting and we cry to you for our nation. Only you can repair our nation. In the midst of this turbulence, in the midst, oh, Lord, Father, of this chaos and confusion, in the midst of this gross anarchy, our Father, Lord, in the midst of this leadership vacuum, deliver Nigeria. We pray for mercy. Lord, forgive Nigeria for our sins. Forgive our ancestors for their idol worship. Pardon the iniquity of our founding fathers who sold us off to imperialism and slavery. Forgive our ancestors for the iniquity of idol worship. <laughs> the Bible says if you worship other gods, he said others we, we lord it over you. I'm going to show you a few scriptures from Deuteronomy 28 verse 31. Like I said yesterday, others we lord it. They be the one eating the increase of the land. Is it not foreigners that are eating the good of the land? Is it not a few people that are eating the good of the 
the land, I want us to pray. The Bible says in Lamentations chapter 5, verse 7, he said, our fathers have sinned and they are no more, but we bear their iniquities. Servants rule over us. They are not to deliver us from their hand. We get our bread at the risk of our lives because of the sword in the wilderness. Our skin is as hot as oven because of the fever of famine. Oh, Father, we pray for mercy in Nigeria. Deliver us, oh God, from the repercussions of sin, of iniquity, of transgression, oh Lord, Father, of disobedience, of rebellion, of corruption, our Father, of perversion, oh Lord, Father, that has entered the land, lack of integrity, lack of accountability, lack of responsibility, the idolatry in the land, the witchcraft, the sorcery. Our Father, we pray for mercy, forgive Nigeria of our sins, forgive our ancestors, pardon the iniquity of our founding fathers who compromised, oh God, and sold us off, oh Lord, Father, to the colonial masters, oh God, they sold us off, they made evil trades. Father, have mercy. Our Father, have mercy. Mezade, bragade, diabaza. Oh, forgive our ancestors for the iniquity of idol worship. You said in your word, our fathers have sinned and they are no more. But we bear their iniquity. Our Father, Lord, we pray, deliver us, O oh Lord, Father, from the error. Uh, the Bible says, servants rule over us. There is not to deliver us from the hand. Only you can deliver us. Lord, deliver Nigeria from the hands of the tyrants, O oh Lord, Father, ruling over her. We get our bread at the risk of our life because of the sword in the wilderness. Our Father, everyone who is going out now is going at the risk, O oh Lord, Father, of their lives. So, God, Lord, we pray for deliverance. Uh, our Father, we pray for the deliverance, the hardship. O oh Lord Father, we pray that you will alleviate it. O oh Lord Father, you will bring peace and mercy. We pray for divine intervention in Jesus' mighty name. Our prayer number seven, Lord, we ask of victor men in Nigeria of sin. Touch the heart of our leaders. Touch all our political and spiritual leaders. Convict our senators. Rebuke our judges. Let everyone return to you in righteousness. Let every man, woman, boy, or girl admit their responsibility for the failure of Nigeria. Let righteousness exalt our nation. Remove the reproach of sin from us. The Bible says righteousness exalts a nation. Sin is a reproach to any people. Our Father, deliver us, O God, from the wages of sin, from the reproach of sin, from the disgrace of sin. Have mercy on our nation. Our Lord, we are that you convict men and women. We pray that there will be a change in the way things are done, that things will be done righteously. Our Father, Lord, currently they are repairing the third mainland bridge. Baba, Lord, we pray because if they take the money, they will sabotage lives. I remember talking to someone recently, they said, you know, when they are lost a contract, they first of all give 40% to the minister. If they've given 40% to the minister, what is remaining? Then they will give for the, they said they will give 20% to the boys. If they give 20% to the boys, then it's remaining 40%. Then the owner of the contracts might, might even swallow up the remaining 40%. And that's why many of them are runaway contractors. Or they will use, you know, sub, subpar, you know, materials. They will use inferior materials. They will do shabby work. They will get, you know, cheap, you know, um, labor and all that just so that they can get some profits. Before they are leaving the ministry of anything, ministry of aviation, ministry of works and all, ministry of anything, the money has already been divided among the officials. Can you imagine? The money has been. The, 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 this is this is true words, word of mouth by people we know. Ah, Baba, Egbawa, Nigeria. Lord, we need your help. We need your help. Father, we pray that you will bring this ones to book. You will expose it. Father, we ask for whistleblowers to open up in every level of government. Lord, convict all men. Touch the heart of our leaders. Touch all our political and spiritual leaders. Those who have traded sides with the devil. Those who have sold up their soul for money. Convict our senators. Rebuke our judges. Let everyone return to you in righteousness. Let every Every man, woman, boy or girl admits their responsibility for the failure, the moral failure of Nigeria. Let righteousness exalt our nation, remove the reproach of sin. Father, we pray and we admit the sin of our nation, Nigeria. We are sorry for all the lies, the inflated prices, the lies, the requisitions that are untrue. Our Father, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, expose the embezzlement. Father, the wickedness, those who have taken advantage of the system, the contractors who have not delivered, oh Lord, Father, our Lord, the good that they promised. Father, we pray as they are repairing Todd Milan Bridge, we pray that the people that will be doing, Lord, they will be convicted 
every money that they have swallowed up. Father, we pray for them to have allotted that contract. They've made themselves rich. Ah, they've made themselves rich. Father, have mercy. Ah, Father, have mercy. The third Milan bridge is a death trap if it's not properly repaired, if it is not done right. Ah, it's something that we create in jeopardy. We put the nation in jeopardy and put people in trouble for many years to come. Father, open the eyes of our leaders to see the repercussion and the consequences of their folly, their foolishness, the greed. Father, we are sorry for the lies, the selfishness, the greed, the bloodshed, the love of money. Many have sold their souls out to Satan for money, for mammon, and the corruption in the heart of the society is deeply ingrained. We pray for mercy. Have mercy, O Lord. Let mercy prevail over judgment in Nigeria. Our Father, we pray that you will spare your people. Our Lord, do not give Nigeria over to reproach to deliver Nigeria. Do not let the world ask where is our God. Do not let Nigeria, O oh Lord Father, be stranded. Father, we need you. We need your help. You said, O oh Lord Father, that vain is the help of man. O oh Lord, help us, O oh God. Help us in Nigeria. O oh Father, especially in the area of transparency, righteousness and justice. Baba, where do we go from here? We need your help. Ah, the Bible said in Joel 2, 17, let the priest who minister to the Lord weep between the porch we pray for our pastors in Nigeria, Lord, the leaders in Nigeria, the spiritual fathers in Nigeria, Father, convict them. Show up in their dreams. Show up in their prayer closet. Show up in their space. Show up, oh God. Our Father, let them admit they are wrong. Let them which weep between the porch and the altar. We pray, oh God, for churches, oh God, to speak, to, 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 to be quickened for intercession at this time, repentance and righteousness. Our Father, Lord, we pray. Let them say, spare your people, oh Lord, do not give your heritage to reproach uh, that the nation should rule over them. Why should they say among the people, where is your God? Father, deliver Nigeria from this. So, Lord, Father, our Lord, this deplorable state, uh, we call Nigeria out of the pit. We call Nigeria out of the pit. We pray for your mercy, O oh God. Uh, Father, Lord, expose and disgrace the charmers and those guilty of bloodshed in Nigeria. Oh, Lord, the charmers, the wicked ones. Uh, the Bible said in Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 20 to 21, therefore, thus says the Lord God, behold, I'm against your majesty charms with which you hunt the souls of men like birds they are hunting the souls of men all of our chieftains the others they are not innocent they are the one hiring the kidnappers the ritualists to kill people our father we pray for mercy expose them do not let them be innocent father we pray the cannibalism in the land the wickedness the ritual killing the human sacrifice oh god of our leaders of our senators of our government our father we pray expose them you said they Hunt souls there like birds. You say, I will tear them from your arms. I will tear them from your arms and let the souls go. The souls you hunt like birds. I will also tear off your veils and deliver my people out of your hand. They shall no longer be as prey in your hand. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Father, show forth, O oh Lord. Father, show forth your vengeance in Nigeria. Show up for us, O oh God, in Nigeria. Deliver us from the hands of the charmers, O oh Lord. Father, the sorcerers and the witches. Deliver us from those guilty of blood. Deliver us from the bloodthirsty principalities ruling over us. Expose all those who are hunting the souls of men like birds. Uh, expose all those who are haunting the souls of men like birds. Uh, scatter all the forces of wickedness in politics, uh, the religious institution, the businesses and the entire land. Expose their wicked cartels uh, where they are selling human beings, uh, where they are exchanging all of Father, our uh, Lord, the souls of men, where they are trading with the souls of men. Father, expose and disgrace them. Daddy, do not let their sin be covered. Father, do not let their sins be covered. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we decree an end to the vagabond spirit troubling Nigerians at home and abroad. Lord, we pray that you will deliver Nigeria. And you know that when an innocent blood is shed, you know when a life is killed, you know what happens? There will be vagabond released. There will be the vagabond cause released. And if you go and read Samon and he said his children, he said they will, be, they will be vagabonds borrowing continually, going from place to place. I want us to pray. The Bible says, you see, the massive relocation will not stop the repercussion of bloodshed. Nigeria needs to re, re, 
remain in the place of repentance, especially, especially because of the consequences of idol worship, human sacrifice, bloody altars, wicked things. Some people are using human sacrifice to enrich themselves. But remember that God's law is true. He said eye for eye, tooth for tooth, life for life, donkey for donkey. So life for life, those rich men, those rich chieftains, those rich millionaires, those billionaires, they sacrifice other people's children. Guess what? God also makes sure that they are sacrificed on the altar. I said, let the slab be created for his children. Massive relocation will not stop the repercussions of bloodshed, especially in a generation. It will visit that generation three to four generations down the line, sometimes to the tenth generation, except an intercessor, a mediator among a thousand, someone turns in righteousness. The Bible said that the righteousness of the righteous will stick to their head. They said the wickedness of the wicked will stick to their head. And the Bible said no longer will the children still be set on it for the sour grapes that their fathers ate. When the righteous know they are right, when they rise up to pray, I want us to pray. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 31, he said your ox will be slaughtered before your eyes. The repercussion of idol worship, the repercussion of bloodshed in the land. He said you shall not eat of it. Your donkey shall be violently taken before you. You shall not be, and it shall not be restored to you. Your sleep shall be given, your sheep shall be given to your enemy and you shall not have, you shall have no one to rescue them. Verse 32, look at this. He said, your sons and your daughters shall be given to another people and your eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all day long and there shall be no strength in your land. Can you imagine? No strength in your hand. A nation whom you have not known shall eat the fruit of your land and the produce of your labor and you shall only be oppressed and crushed continually. Is that not what is happening? He said in verse 37, you shall become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all nations where the Lord will drive you. You shall carry much seed out to the field, but gather in little. He said, for the locusts will consume it. You shall plant vineyard and tend them, but you shall neither drink of the vine or of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worm shall eat them. You shall have olive trees throughout all your territories, but you shall not anoint yourself with the oil, for your olive shall drop off. You shall beget sons and daughters, but they shall not be yours, for they shall go into captivity. Can you imagine? He said, the alien who is among you shall rise higher and higher above you, and shall come down lower and lower, and shall learn to, and they shall lend to you, but you shall not lend to him. It shall be the head, you shall be the tail. That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. The blessing of Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 to 13 is our portion and sticks to our head. But we use this scripture, this revelation to intercede for Nigeria. And we declare, Nigeria, you will be head and not tail. We silence the avenger of blood by the blood of sprinkling. We plead the blood of Jesus. We decree an end to the vagabond spirit troubling Nigeria at home and abroad because of the shedding of innocent blood. We plead the blood of Jesus for mercy. Let the blood of Jesus avail for every iniquity. Let the blood of Jesus account for every bloodshed. Let the blood of Jesus stop all of other the avenger of blood. We declare Jesus is our city of refuge in Nigeria. Jesus is our city of refuge in Nigeria. We silence the avenger of blood by the blood of sprinkling. The Bible said we have come to the city of the living God, to heavenly Jerusalem. He said we have come to the spirit of just men made perfect, to the innumerable company of angels. He said we have come to Jesus Christ, the mediator of the new covenant. He said whose blood? He said, we have come to the blood of sprinkling. He said, the blood that speaks better things than the blood of evil. We come to the mercy seat of heaven. We come to the mercy seat of heaven. We come to the mercy seat of heaven. We plead the blood of Jesus. 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 We plead the blood of Jesus for redemption. Remember when the vagabond spirit was set in motion was when Cain killed Abel. The Bible said, what have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries out for me from the ground. So you are not cursed from the earth which has opened his mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you till the ground, he shall no longer yield the strength to you. A fugitive and a vagabond, you shall be on the earth. We break every yoke of vagabond spirit on every Nigerian. We come against every nomadic spirit, O Lord Father. Our struggling, O Lord Father, are putting out so much effort and got, gathering very little. We come against this, we declare, in the name of Jesus, Nigerians at home and abroad will not serve the enemy. We will not serve our enemy. We plead the blood of Jesus. Get that bragado, celebrate that we come against that vagabond spirit. We plead the blood of Jesus. We declare mercy over Nigeria in Jesus' mighty name. And together we take our communion. Let's take our communion element and pray and pray for the state of this day. Let's use this state as a point of contact. But we are going to pray and say, Lord, by this table, we ask that you wet your glittery sword. The Bible said, if I wet my glittery sword, I will make my arrows drunk with blood. I will take vengeance upon the heads of the enemy. Baba, take vengeance. Walk through Nigeria. Take vengeance. We can't help ourselves. We depend on you. You said vengeance belongs to me. I will recompense. Ah, Father, take vengeance. Hey, Father, take vengeance. Wet your glittery sword. Make your arrows drunk with blood. Those who are killing 
killing people. Father, kill them. <laughs> Father, those who are sacrificing humans. Father, Lord, sacrifice them. Baba, Lord, we pray. Visit them. We cry for mercy. We declare restoration over the four corners of Nigeria. Lord, heal our land from every form of bloodshed and violence. Heal our land from bloodshed and violence. Deliver our, our nation from sorcery and witchcraft. Redeem our land from the effect of idolatry and blood sacrifice. Let the blood of Jesus avail for Nigeria as we turn over to you, as we acknowledge our wrong. We enforce the covenant of salvation over the entire nation. We use the appointed states on our list today as a point of contact for the 36 states of the Federation and the seat of power in FCT Abuja. We plead the blood of Jesus. We pray for Oshu Ogun. Uh, we pray for Oshu Oyo. <clears throat> Plateau states, river states, Sokoto, Taraba, Yobe, Zamfara. We pray for mercy. Father, the bloodshed going on, oh Lord, Father, in Zamfara state, where they are killing even the policemen who are defending the people. Our Lord, intimidating and harassing them. We pray in the name of Jesus, you will deliver. They are burning up the police station. You can watch the news. You can get the news from there. Our Father, we pray for mercy. We pray the blood of Jesus. We say that this evil is contained. We pray that Lord, armies, oh Lord, Father, soldiers, defense, oh Lord, Father, that our Lord deploy to to Samfara to deliver the people to help the people. Enough of the kidnapping of young girls, uh, the Chibok girls. Some of them are still missing till today. Father, we pray for your mercy, O God. At the end of tyranny has come. The wickedness of all the tyrants is enough. Enough is enough. We pray that you will move with vengeance through our land. We plead the blood of Jesus. We place a demand on the blood of Yeshua. We plead the blood of Jesus over our true state. Uh, we pray for peace, O God. We pray, O God, no more violence, no more bloodshed. Oh Lord, anyone who shed blood in Oshun, Baba, visit them today, expose them, expose their secret shrines and their cartels uh, in your state, anyone who shed human blood, Father, Lord, visit them with vengeance in Jesus' name, anyone who shed blood of human in Plateau State, uh, Father, Lord, the constant burning of churches, persecution of the pastors, the churches, oh God, uh, Father, Lord, the Christians, Father, Lord, silence them in the name of Jesus. Recently, there was a peaceful protest in Plateau State where people went out on the streets to cry out for mercy. Father, we pray for mercy, back them up in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Father, any more bloodshed. Father, expose and disgrace it. Father, judge it, O Lord, Father, with your vengeance. Father, in River State, in Sokoto, in Taraba, in Yobe, and in Zampara. And Father, together we take the bread, we break it, and we eat in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's eat our bread together. And in the same manner, we take the cup and we drink in Jesus' name. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we magnify. We thank you, Lord, Father, for your mercy that is from everlasting to everlasting. We give you praise because you are the one who answers our prayer, the one that answers by fire. We bless your name. We cover our prayers with the blood of Jesus. We come against every backlash. We declare there will be none. And Father, we pray in the courts of heaven. Lord, we pray that you will rule and reign. You ancient Zion's king, we pray that you will rule over Nigeria. Lord, we pray that you will deploy your incorn angels, your carpenter angels, your craftsmen. Father, Lord, the one who love, I will repair the nations. We pray you will release them into every four, four corner of Nigeria. And Lord, those who have been diverting our funds, looting our treasury, are swallowing the funds, so taking it for their own personal one, using it for personal aggrandizement to God, using it to make themselves larger than life. Father, Lord, expose their wicked treachery, expose their wickedness in Jesus' name. Do not let their sin be blotted out. Father, visit them, O Lord, Father, expose every single one of them. And Lord, we pray for our nation, that our nation will turn to you, that righteousness will be the order of the day. We will do things righteously. We will acknowledge you as God. Father, we come against atheism, godlessness, perversion, and Father, we transmodernism in Nigeria, where people have turned away from you. We pray for mercy, O God. We pray that you redeem Nigeria by your mercy. Thank you, Almighty God, for a revival that is brewing in the land. We thank you for a change that has come. We thank you for the change agencies, the solution mandates you are raising from the north, the south, the east, and the west. We thank you for the Gideons, the Baraks, the, the, the Joshuas. We thank you, Lord, for the Nehemiahs, the Ezra's that you are bringing from near and far. We thank you, Lord, Father, for the solution mandate, O oh God. Father, Lord, people, intercessors, prophets like a, a guy, Lord, prophet like Ezra, prophets, O oh Lord, Father, like 
like like like uh, like Isaiah, Lord, men of nations, builders like uh, Nehemiah, like Zerubbabel, like Joseph, like Daniel. Father, bring the nation builders, oh God. Those who are filled with audacity, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that provision will be made available for those who are in Nigeria. None will be stranded. You said the children of the lion they will suffer hunger. You said the young lion they will suffer hunger. You said the lover, but they that love the Lord, they that seek you will not lack any good thing. We declare that all our people, all the intercessors in Nigeria, none will lack any good thing. Every believer, the innocent, the fatherless, the destitute, the needy, they will be sustained throughout this time in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, eternal rock of ages, for answer prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. We bless the Almighty God. Please note that our Ignite Lagos Conference has become a virtual one. On that day, we will gather together at 12 noon, just like we are gathering now at noon, 12 noon, 12, um, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That will be 6 p.m. Nigerian time as we bombard heaven for our nation and the mantling for Daniels will be released. Just like I mentioned earlier in the day, we are going to bless 10 families with a refund from the hotel in Ikeja. We are waiting for them to refund the money. And right now, I just want you to join me in a two-minute intercession as we pray in the spirit and say, let Radisson Blue not have peace until they return that uh, one million that they have in their pocket. Let them not have peace. We send your word, we send your angels, we send your word, O Lord, to the decision makers there. We send your word to the accountant there. Let them know happy until they release the Imam troops' money. They will release our money because we need it at this time to bless families. And Father, we declare that it is done. We stand in agreement. We declare it is done. They return that one million naira forty-two thousand. They return it and we use it to bless families. And we pray that help will arise from the north, the south, the east, and the West, for many others who need your help during this time. Father, we thank you because relief will come from heaven. The eternal rock of ages will bless you. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's share the name of benediction together. I am blessed with the blessing of the Father God Almighty. I am blessed with the blessing of heaven above in Christ Jesus. I am blessed with the blessing of the field. I am blessed with the blessing of the deep within. I am blessed with the blessing of the breast. I am blessed with the blessing of the womb. I am blessed with all spiritual, material, and marital blessings this season. I am blessed when I go out and when I come in. My blessing exceeds that of my ancestors and all those who have gone ahead of me. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for praying. The Almighty God reward you with answered petition in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye for now.